Today I'm here at OT Space for the Seoul Culture Club Arts Festival. It's my first time visiting a space that I've heard a lot of stuff about and there's a couple of familiar faces coming along as well today. I'm curious to see how it goes. OG Space is a hub for artists, musicians and creatives, offering everything from performance spaces to a rooftop, a vegan restaurant, a bar. Each floor here is designed to foster collaboration and creativity and help to build a community. It's a great way to meet people from all over the world and everyone comes here with you know, different backgrounds and uh, different interests and they all have their own form of art. I don't really know many other places where I can get in touch with people like that. That's why I like it here so much. I think Conan is a great networker. He's a busy man. Apart from all the, the work that he does, he, he finds a lot of time to connect with a lot of non-Koreans and Koreans, uh, artists here in the city or anywhere else in Korea and brings them to uh, this nice little space here in Oljido. I have a lot of respect for that. I want to add to that that uh, sometimes as an artist or someone who is not doing something uh, necessarily mainstream in Korea, it's really hard to uh, be seen, but to get some attention or to find a platform where you can do the things that you do. And therefore it's great for those people to have a place like this. Spaces like this are more than just venues. They're homes for artists. It's not just about performing, but connecting with others who understand your journey. That's something you just can't replicate online. Today I performed <laughs> in Ulji space. I first time been here in yeah, Ulji space. You know, it's a really cool place. I didn't know this place before. So several separate the flowers in different spaces. Yeah, so so cool. I heard uh, usually this space is gallery, mm -hmm. so it's a very cool place, I think. While Seoul is brimming with spaces like Ulji, smaller cities face challenges. It's easy to say this type of space can only exist in Seoul because the numbers of performers, the active audience, but if you want to create something like this, the key is collaboration. Work with the community you have and create spaces that invite people in, no matter the size. LG Space didn't become this overnight. It started out as a theater for, for plays. It grew into a sort of um, arts complex, if you will. So it's got, we've got a theater and we've got a restaurant that's actually a vegan restaurant and a bar. And we have a meeting space and a small art gallery and a rooftop where various things happen. Seoul Culture Club is one of the communities or collectives that find home at Uchi Space. It's a um, a performance and a community of artists who put those performances together. It's a diverse group of, of artists from all around the world in sort of building a community. So that's getting the performers first and foremost and people who may not necessarily perform but who are part of the production team. We have to get those people and one is through word of mouth, another is through SNS. And I think third is really grassroots and being on your feet and going out and meeting people. And if those are three different ways of building a community, I think, you know, place other than Seoul maybe is the last of the three that's re really important because population size is smaller, right? And the pool is smaller. So I think it just cr takes more effort to just go out there and just meet people.
three days of performances, art, and community at the Soul Culture Club Arts Festival came to a close with a final day that I really enjoyed. I got a lot of food for thought from my chats both on and off camera, and I hope you did too. Now I know why LG Space has the reputation that it does. Let me know what you think of the space in the comments below, and for more on community spaces and events, check this video here.